1952 Sunbeam Talbot 90 convertible. As you can see, it's finished in this lovely dark metallic gray with a lighter gray roof. Um, now this car was restored some years ago. If you check the description, we'll detail everything we know about that. Um, but it does come with this photo album. It comes with a load of other paperwork and stuff, which we'll detail, but it comes with a photo album. Obviously the car was a bit of a barn find um, before it was started, but it details everything there. So that's it washed off, um, stripped it. I mean, it looks like it's had new wings and then it's been down to a full body off restoration. Can flick all the way through this showing all the metal work being done all the way through showing everything all the way through to a finished car dozens and dozens of photos in there which is always nice to have um, but we'll start in the video we'll have a good look at the bodywork have a look at the interior then we'll get it fired up um, it's come from an older chap this one absolute pride and joy this car so starting on the front wing, so looking at those photos, they look like they were new, so these should be very good, uh, which they are, inside that arch, nice and sharp, all the way around. No real signs of any marks or anything to note on that front wing. We've got a very light scratch just there. Just see that in the right light. Tiny, tiny, maybe two inch long scratch. Um, does look like it may polish out. Bottom of the wing's all nice and tidy. We've got four very nice Devante tires with the white walls. Um, on body coloured steels with these lovely, really, really tidy chrome hubcaps. And um, we'll check them all out as we go around, but they are in very nice condition. You can see inside the wing and everything underneath there, lovely and tidy all the way around. Continuing our way down this side, got a little mark at the bottom of the door there where it's been touched up, but the sill itself, nice and sharp all the way along. And then it comes onto that rear arch, which again, Sharp all the way around. Another good wheel, tire and hubcap. And we have got a little mark here, which is something sat, unfortunately the car's been sat outside for the last sort of six, seven months, I believe. And that looks like it's sat on top of the paint. It looks like it would clean off, whatever it is. Sort of a residue of some sort. All the chrome work on the wing mirror is nice and tidy. Glass is all lovely and clear. All the chrome work around the glass again, nice and tidy, you can see. That's all good. Scuttle panel area, again, nice and tidy, no sign of any corrosion or anything. All good around that screen. Hood itself, I believe was replaced when the car was restored, but you can see it's in very, very nice condition. Lovely and clean, nice and tight all the way along. Meets that windscreen nice and sharp. There's no sag anywhere in it. Normally this area can be a bit ugly, but as you can see, very, very nice. And we've got a plastic rear window. The chrome trims, which are all nice as well, stainless trim, sorry. And then up this passenger side again, really, really nice. Sort of makes the car for me, that, that light grey hood. Continuing our way around, we've got a couple of little stone chips on the top of that rear quarter. And another two just lower down there. Come around on the back, you can see the chrome work on that rear bumper is really, really good. Below the bumper, all nice and tidy. The, uh, if we're being picky, the badge has dried out and cracked. It's sort of that old style Baker-like covers cracked over the top of the badge. Chrome work is pretty good there. A little bit of picking the chrome work on the top of the tail lights. That whole boot lid all nice and tidy. Got another little mark. It's been touched in just around the handle. Around the lip on here is all nice. And we can have a good look around that seal where it's a soft top and where that Boot lid shuts, again, all nice and tidy. Have a little look underneath the car from here. Again, you can see the tank. Exhaust looks to be nice and new as well. Really nice and clean under there. Coming around on the passenger side again, if you look up this side, it's nice and straight. It's not full of filler or anything like that. Underside of this rear quarter where you can get your hand round. Out in that arch, nice and sharp all the way around. No sign of any corrosion. Another good wheel, tyre and hubcap. There's a little mark there that's been touched in at some point. Has been used, this thing. It was restored and used properly. And a couple of little stone chips down the bottom there that have been touched in as well. Sill all the way along, nice and sharp. And especially when you get this edge here, get your hand right behind. Bump that front arch again, nice and sharp. Another good wheel, tire and hubcap at the front. Hubcaps are really, really good. 
All the glass on this side is nice and clear. All the trim, again, it's very good. A little bit of picking on the top of the handle, but generally very good the rest of the areas. No real marks to note on that door. And then up the front wing, same story as the other side, lovely and clean and tidy. A little bit of a mark on the, on the badge where it sort of had polishes and stuff running over the top of it. Um, but I quite like stuff like that, to be fair. Coming round on the front, chrome bumper on the front, just as good as the back, very, very good. All the lamp covers and the glass are nice and tidy, as is the chrome work on the grill, very, very good. Even the mascot's pretty good as well. The bonnet, it is nice and straight, as are the tops of the wings. Uh, but there is a little mark here where there's been a bird poo at some point. There's a couple of little bits of stuff in the paint that we just want sort of taken off with a polisher. Um, and you've got one or two little stone chips, but very minor. So generally very usable. You'd be more than happy to take it to a show. More than happy to get out and drive it. And then onto your interior, you've got those four. It's a proper four seat convertible, gray on the door cards, gray with white piping on the seats. The seats are lovely, very, very soft. Incredibly soft. All the piping's nice and tidy. If we go at the back, you can see the back of the seat is all good. Carpets could do with a really good clean. Rear, rear bench doesn't look like it's been used hardly at all. Lovely and tidy in there, really, really good. Original sort of style steering wheel again. Could do with a good clean, but there's no real chips or chunks out of it. Uh, now this one, obviously they were column shift. This one has been converted to floor shift. We've got, obviously the column shift is still here and all the mechanisms are in the boots. So if you want to put it back to that, it's quite a simple thing to do. Um, but it has been converted. So currently you're changing gear on the floor, not on the column. All the dials are nice and clear. You can see it says 64,000 miles at the moment. If you check the description, we'll detail everything we know as far as sort of history, where it's been, all that sort of stuff. Going into the boot, the backside, it could do with a good clean on there, um, but it is generally pretty nice. And then, like I say, we've got this bag here with all of the bits and bobs you need in to put it back onto floor shift, uh, column shift if you want. We've got a tonneau cover for the hood and a few other spares and things like that. All nice and tidy under there. There's no sign of any trapped moisture. We'll say one thing, if it's been sat outside, so we picked it up off the gentleman's drive, he lost a bit of storage. Um, there's not a drop of moisture in here. Generally very good. Front passenger seat again, nice and tidy. Really, really soft. Whoever's trimmed these seats when the car was restored has done a nice job. And there's the back in here. Again, lovely and tidy. The underside of the hood is all good. Nice on that dash. A couple more spares and bits and bobs in there. And we do have an aftermarket later. Stereo down the bottom there as well. You have to excuse some dodgy camera work, we'll get this bonnet pinned up. And again, under here, nice and clean, nice and tidy. Seal on that firewall's all good. Air cleaner and everything's lovely and clean. It's been parked here overnight. It's not dropping any fluids, there's not a drop on the floor there. Really, really good. Um, and like I said, we haven't started it today, so we'll, uh, we'll hop in it. But it does fire on the button, this thing. So I have to pour myself in, ignition on, start a button, straight away, nice oil pressure, amped going up where they need to be. So it's obviously always a good sign when cars are getting used regularly, they do start better, drive better generally. Nice and smooth around the front, nothing nasty flying out the back. Like I say, this hasn't been started since yesterday, so it fires up on the button. Sunbeam Talbot 90 convertible. If you've got any more questions at all, please get in touch. Obviously, we're open every day for viewings. We've even managed to knock the indicator on, there you go. Open every day for viewings, just let us know, we'll book you in. If you can't get to see the car again, let us know, we can send you photos, videos, whatever you might need. Thank you.